It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, receiving a breast cancer diagnosis, admittedly, is a big blow for anyone. And uh, it's the first of many steps down a difficult and challenging path. In a time where your body and sometimes your mind can feel like a stranger, the support and care of loved ones and the community is truly valued. Now, through her own experience, Liz Krasen knows this all too well. And through the efforts of both herself and SA Weddings, she's supporting an organization called Project Flamingo that helps women feel less alone on this journey. Here to tell us more is Liz, along with the founder and director of Project Flamingo, Dr. Liana Ruet, and the creative director of SA Weddings, Catherine Valentine. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So good to good have morning. you here this Thanks morning. I'm so excited you. to talk about this. Now, Liz, don't you want to tell us more about your own journey and just set the context of how all of this came together? On my own journey started on the 13th of November 2013 where I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm. Um, I had the treatment, I had my breast removed and in that time you go, your body goes into utter shock. Yeah. But what happened after that was that actually my, um, my cancer uh, spread. Yeah. So I am now got uh, stage 4 terminal cancer. Wow. But the worst thing for me, I think, was last year losing my father. Um, he was in a coma for three months yeah. and um, he died and him and I were exceptionally close. Wow. So I came back from going to Joburg every week, going to Santon Clinic, seeing my dad going from a six foot six man to nothing, which sure. was awful. Um, and I came back and he died and I my cancer had spread again into my ribs and I woke up one day and four years ago when I was in hospital I, I said to myself one day I'm going to make beautiful gowns for these women who have to go to hospital, silk, all different colours just so that you could feel more beautiful. Yeah. But I never did it and then when my dad died one day I woke up one morning, I got into my car, I went to a fabric shop and it all started there. Wow. And two months later I had a launch and people have been absolutely amazing. Ashley Rothman, who models for me, doesn't charge. Yeah. She just does shoots. Yeah. SA Weddings has been unbelievable. Amazing. Um, and many more people, my friends, my family, everyone's helped yeah. me. So for me, that's been yeah. the biggest challenge is just getting up every day, doing something you're passionate about. Yeah. Don't think about, are you going to see your little one yeah. in high school? Yeah. Just focusing live every on day for yeah, living first. every day can I just commend you you are amazing in the midst of everything that you're going through that you would still look to help other people I think that can be a huge motivation to all of us yeah. um, as well but let's talk about project Lim uh, Flamingo we have highlighted the work that you've done also uh, right here on Expresso show which is to reduce the weight between diagnosis and critical surgery how does project Flamingo do this oh, it's so lovely being here and especially sitting next to a lovely woman it's like wow. this. Wow. So um, our aim at Project Flamingo is especially for our public health care patients to reduce yeah. the waiting time from diagnosis yes. to surgery and we do this by performing funded catch-up surgery lists. So mm -hmm. essentially we've got volunteer surgeons, volunteer anaesthetists, we pay for theatre time and some consumables and the nursing staff and we operate on public holidays and Saturdays to yeah. try and reduce this time. And then the very, very important part of Project Flamingo, of course, is also the pamper pack, which speaks so nicely to Liz's aim yeah. of making mm. people feel cared for, feminine, and just keeping that, you know, feminine strength and spirit alive. Catherine, of course, we've got the um, annual Bride of the Year event that's happening on Saturday, the 2nd of June, and a portion of the ticket sales will be going to Project Flamingo. How did this partnership come together? Well, it was quite interesting. Um, I'm always looking for new um, ideas and ways to support people. And I came across Liz and I just thought, well, SA Weddings, you know, it's amazing how we are a platform to plan your wedding from and we make dreams come true, but yeah. not every day is a wedding day. Yeah. And, and when I found out about her, I thought, no, it's a great way to give back. So um, I just said, yeah, please, can we put your gowns on SA Weddings? and sell as many as possible, Wow! give back to um, these patients that can't afford yeah. the treatment yeah. and give them that gift yeah. 
And, um, and then I just thought with having this event, a lot of people attend and decided to sell some tickets and to give back and so we can support your foundation, which That's is amazing. incredible and would like to carry on supporting it. So the events are on Saturday if anyone would like to attend. Fantastic. We've got those yeah. details here yeah. as well. Thank you so Thank much, you. ladies, for Thank being with you. us. Three amazing ladies, one incredible cause touching the lives of countless people. Now, the Bride of the Year Gala event is taking place on Saturday, the 2nd of June at Anura Wine Estate in Stellenbosch. And tickets can be found at quicket.co.za. They are 270 rand each. And a portion of the ticket sales will be donated to Project Flamingo. Now, if you would like more information on Project Flamingo and how you can get involved, you can head over over to projectflamingo.co.za and to Liz, how do I pronounce that? Leisurie. Leisurie.co.za, uh, where you can get more information on the proudly South African bespoke gowns and bags. Leisurie, I love